Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to install a cool spot outdoor sunshade? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to walk you through how to install this cool spot brand eight foot by eight foot outdoor sunshade that we picked up over at Costco. So this is just kind of a uh, off the shelf product. I'm not sponsored by cool spot in any way, but figured We'd show you how to install in case else is wondering. I'll also tell you how it works out. We have this spot over here. It's at our friend's house. And the sun comes in and gives a lot of sun over here at, at dusk. Because the westward sun comes in. So they asked us to help them out and put up the sunshade that's going to block these last two panels of the screen. And hopefully help to give a little bit of relief when they're enjoying afternoon in the hot tub. So we'll take it apart, open it up and see what's inside and then walk you through the installation step by step. Stay tuned. Yeah. So once we unboxed it, went ahead and you're going to remove this protective film. Looks pretty nice. And it's got everything well packaged into here, as well as uh, a nice instruction set with photos. So it's pretty straightforward. You can attach this ring, attach it with a pole, put together a pole, and it gives you two different options for mounting. Now for the mounting, we'll walk you through that later, but you use these mounting brackets. And the mounting brackets are either going to go this way or they're going to go up on the top. So it depends if you want to mount it from the top or out of the wall. We're going to put it up here and we're going to actually do it out of the wall. So we'll end up attaching these this way, but if you had more space, you could also do it this way, which actually we could do. We'll take a look at it, but I think we're going to go this way because this is a protective foam stucco and we need to make sure we get a good bite into the wood. If you were just attaching it straight to wood, you'd probably have more options on where you want to go. But you got to get a good attachment because it is pretty heavy. So we'll go ahead and keep putting it together. Stay tuned. So we're going to install first this ring that helps to open and close the uh, shades. So if you look right here, you're going to take the longer of the three screws, put the washer on it, and then you're going to fit this in, and that's going to screw in right there. So you can just take a hand Phillips head screwdriver and screw that down. Once you've got that piece in there with the washer and it is threaded, very nice. Then we're gonna to put together the rod that's used to turn and open and close the shade. So we're gonna put this right here and we're gonna take the smaller of the screws with the washer and put it on and then screw that one in like so. And then you're gonna take this other end right here and you're gonna put it kind of cantilevered outward it's gonna help it to be easier to open and close. And you're gonna screw this screw in right here. So this is about it for the parts other than the actual mounting brackets. Pretty easy. So it comes with this nice template to help you mount it. When you do these mounting brackets, there's no exact spot to put them. There's a track, so it says to have two towards the edges, but not at the very extreme edge, but one in the middle. If you did at the top, same thing. So it's pretty forgiving depending on what you're working with. But we're gonna go ahead and tape this piece up here and then we'll start mounting everything up on the so wall. So they give you these screws uh, to attach the brackets with and these would work except with this stucco, with this uh, facade we have here, we need longer screws. So we need some long two and a half inch exterior screws. And then we set it up and we measured out from the edges how far we wanna go. Again, it's pretty forgiving because it's on a track. So hopefully it just snaps right in there. And basically there's two holes in the mouse. So you're just gonna get the mount where you want it, measure it out, and then you're gonna put two screws, one on each side of the... And screw it in, you're good to go. All right, well first try, we're gonna to try to put this up here. You see this has these little notches here. What, that serves, that hangs on the, upper, on the upper track, and then the bottom track clicks into this part that's on a spring. So. We'll see if it goes in easily. Again, haven't tried this yet. So let's go ahead and just get it kind of lined up and make it hang, which it's hanging, and then it should click in. Let's see. Push that down, okay. Push this up, okay. And then we'll get on a ladder over there and click so you Take your assembled little rod here, hook it in, and then it goes down super smooth. Seems to be adhered well to the wall. And we'll keep on going down and see how this does. Again, eight by eight is really, really a nice coverage. And 
and we will show you how this covers. Super nice, again, super sturdy. I don't think we're moving at all up there. And same thing going up. Really, really smooth. Kind of decorates the outdoor space here. I'm impressed, not a bad product, especially for the price point. This was not a very, uh, you know, super expensive product. So hope this helps out. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, so we'll see how it stands up. But uh, if, this, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, I appreciate the likes. Hit that bell. Any questions you got or comments, put it in the comment box. I'll try to get right back to you. Appreciate you watching. And remember, all these videos, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.